Hello, my name is William Corner, and the last three times I've been trying to teach you the William method, or whatever the name was. Um, on the first and the second time, some people said they were bad examples, so I made a third example. Then those who liked the first two examples said the third one was a bad example. Basically, what are you trying to say is that all those examples were bad. Now, when I think about it, it's not like that at all. They were all good examples. You are just bad students. Anyway, I'm tired of teaching that method, so I think we should move onwards. This time, we can forget about that method. Actually, we can forget about maths too. I'm now going to show you how to crack codes. Okay, so one guy sent me this, this message, and I would start... Uh, Tracking it by writing every second letter. So N O U R T. Okay, yeah. Like this. But it doesn't make any sense. So we're gonna have to uh, separate it a little like this and put spaces here. Not user assist. No, uh, that doesn't make any sense. Well, sometimes we have to add letters in it like northern and resist uh, resisted sounds better um, northern euro resisted well um, let's fix the spelling errors and northern euro resisted no that euro doesn't make any sense uh, what if what's errol it's like someone's name errol uh, no, no, no. Uh, let's just say Europe. Northern Europe persisted. No, well, that makes sense, but it sounds a little empty like. Uh, it doesn't make kind of sense. Well, if there's something like uh, the war. Not war, it's the war. Um, Northern Europe persisted the war. Well, that makes sense. Alright, so let's write it into a readable form. So, Northern Europe resisted the war. Period. Alright, that's it. That out of this. This is simple. Right, we've solved our first jibber. As you know, I'm William Corner, and now you're a bit wiser than before. <laughs> All thanks to me. <laughs>